Hello everyone, this is Marianne from UNICEF. In this lesson, we will learn about how to use H5P to build an interactive instructional video. In this lesson, you will learn what is H5P interactive video, why use H5P, some features about H5P interactive video, some pros and cons of using H5P interactive video. Then I'll show you how to create H5P interactive video step by step. And lastly, I'll give you some tips. Now, let's begin. So, what is H5P interactive video? An HTML5 based interactive video content type allow users to add interactive functions like multiple choice and fill in the blank questions, pop up text, and other types of interactions to their videos using only a web browser. The plugin enables you to create interactive content directly from your Agora course page or you can import an H5P file to reuse any activities that you have created previously. Just like other Agora components, you can set up the completion criteria and track user interactions and scores. So, why use H5P to create interactive instructional videos? H5P is a genius plugin. H5P is coded in HTML, but it does not require the user to have definite knowledge of the coding language. The backend interface lets you drag and drop elements or directly add interactive buttons to the video. It is constantly evolving and there are always new features on the block waiting for you. The plugin includes a ton of questionnaire types and informative text boxes for you to choose from. For example, multiple choice questions with one or more correct answers, free text questions, filling the blanks, drag and drop, interactive summaries, single choice question sets, mark the word activities, images, tables, labels, texts, and links. Pros and cons of H5P interactive video. For the most part, the interface is intuitive and quite easy to use. Definite positives include ease of adding bookmarks or chapters to a video, ability to overlay images, Ease of adding URLs or hotspots. Several options for users to check or test their knowledge. It's a free plugin that works with many LMS systems. The limitations I've noticed is that large videos may freeze indefinitely while uploading. There's no way for learners to include even brief responses. Any input on the user's part is strictly defined. There is no preview options when creating interactive contents in the video. I don't see other disadvantages of H5P because it is simply very easy to use. So when you go to H5P website and click on examples and download, you will see whole lot of options here that you can use for your course. There's interactive video, accordion, flashcards, filling the blanks, interactive book, and many more. Today, we will learn about how to use H5P to create an interactive video. Go to h5p.org slash interactive video to learn more.
you can keep adding different kind of interactions to make the video more engaging and challenging for students. Interactions will appear as dots on the playback bar at the bottom of the video. There are a lot of different interaction types that are not covered in this guide. These are available in the toolbar at the top of the video. Click around and explore the different options to add interactivity to your video. Many of these options have their own guides on how to set them up. So, be sure to check the H5P Interactives category if you get stuck. Click Summary task when you have finished adding all your interactions. This will help you build a summary that appears at the end of the video to test students' knowledge in the moment. Adding a summary to your interaction video is optional. You can skip this sub-step and head straight to the step 4 if you don't want to add summary task. After you click to add summary task, enter some introduction text to explain the task. H5P automatically generates the text. Choose the correct statement. Add your first statement. This is a complete sentence that the student can choose as an answer, like in a multiple choice question. The first statement is the correct answer. Click Add Statement to add more options for student to choose from. H5P automatically generates two blank statements per set. You can add tips if you want. Tips add information that helps students choose the right answer. Enter the time that you want the summary to display at. Overall feedback can be designed to appear depending on the percentage of correct answers a student has achieved. To add a range, click Add Range and select the minimum and maximum percentage for this feedback. Behavioral settings determine how your video is going to display and work for students, including any answers you may have added in the previous step. If you want to ensure that the learner watches the entire video, then enable the Prevent Skipping Forward in a Video feature. Now, scroll down and click Display Options. Turn on Display Action Bar and Frame. Now, click Grade. If the activity has a score and a passing grade or score, type Grade to Pass and Maximum Grade. If you want to track the completion of the activity, click Activity Completion and select an option for Completion Tracking. Click Save and Display. That's about it. Now you can click Turn Editing Off and test it. Small tips. In addition to links, images, or text, you can embed the following question types. For example, true or false, filling the blanks, multiple choice, drag and drops, and navigation. That's it. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.